Well, it turns out I'm bald. It's a blistering hot day, man. It's been like 90 all day. Um, just hot and uh, nasty. Hard on the equipment, hard on you and me. I guess. Well, it's not really hard on you, I guess, but I don't know if you like watching me sweat or not, but I think I do a pretty good job. So, um, as this is starting to um, be cut out, there are some lollipop trees, I like to call them. These are gonna be my bucker up. You can see another one up there. This is gonna be central scrape tree. I got another central scrape tree right here. And in the past, in the past I found Eric Dickerson's shed. Eric Dickerson's shed. In the past, I literally have found Eric Dickerson's shed right there. And that's the big scrape tree right there. So I want a shot to this point. I, I can see a big buck coming up out of this bottom. And um, one hit these, all these will be scrapes. I mean, just look at these adjacent. Now that's all bowed underneath. It's gonna be awesome. So my goal is I want to position a, uh, uh, basically a blind up here with the northwest wind. It's gonna want to shift everything around this plot or at least on the upside. And for those wary bucks, they will come check this scrape, make sure there's no does in the plot, and then they'll bounce right back in. So wherever my shot's gonna be from, I'm gonna have to be able to hook that scrape. There's not a doubt in my mind. That's a lot of experience in this area. So right up under here, be the easiest way to get into this blind, do a blind up there, make this a central scrape tree, provide them some rubbing trees, make it like a deer park fun land, and then know that they're gonna absolutely be hitting that spot because it's the same one every time every deer comes to that scrape. So, and from my tree stand, in the woods. It's a 25, 28 yard shot. Money. So, two different wins, killer setup. <laughs>